Hello, my dear children. How are you? It is Saturday once again. I meet you every Saturday with a new story. But you know, children, this month, October, what is important? Well, the Shara is going to come. And then Diwali. So this month, let's see and hear stories about the Ramayan. You know, Ramayan, it's the oldest story ever written. So today I'm going to tell you a story on who wrote the Ramayana. Okay, so come with me and let's start. Listen carefully what I'm going to say. Okay, so let's see who was the great person who wrote Ramayana, the oldest story. Okay, come along. So once upon a time, Long, long ago, there lived a robber in the forest. You know who's a robber? A thief. A thief who is brave and is not afraid to hurt people and rob them, steal them of all their money. So there lived in a forest a robber and his name was Ratna. What was his name? Ratan. Ratan or Ratna you can say. So he was a brave robber. He used to rob people. And if people won't give him money, he would hurt them. And he used to never even feel sorry. And then he would take all the money, put it in a bag and go home. And with that money, he would take care of his family. People were very scared of him. They were very scared. Of course, who is not going to be scared of a robber? You know, imagine you are walking, you know. Ding, 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 in the jungle and suddenly what happened? <gasps> Somebody comes jumping on you and grabs all your money and runs away. Or probably hurts you and you are in pain. So people were scared of him. So they said, no, 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 we will not go in the jungle alone. You know, they to all go in a group or they to take some soldiers with them. Only then they would go. So well, that's about it. No, everybody was afraid to walk there. So one day, what happened? A sage, Narad, Narad Muni. You know, Muni is also a sage. Okay, in English we say sage and in Hindi we say Muni. So Narad Muni, you know, he was a traveler. He used to, you know, have a veena in his hand. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. And he would tell stories to everybody. So one day he thought that he'll go somewhere close to the forest, to the, all the villages and tell stories to people. He had traveled so much. He had a treasure trove full of stories. He used to tell stories about gods, about people, about good things. And also how to be aware of the bad things, you know, moral stories to do good. So he took his veena, it is an instrument, and he was, you know, tinkling it, ting, 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 and he was going through this forest. Now what happened? Ratan saw him, and he came running, and he grabbed him. And now, like, Tara just looked at him. He was not scared, you know, he just looked at him. Oh, are you coming at me like this? So, Ratna got quiet, you know. He says, I'm going to rob you. Aren't you afraid of me? He says, well, you can, you know, scare other people. But I'm not afraid. I am a, you know, I'm not, I speak the truth. I'm a brave man. And why should I be afraid? I don't harm anybody. So, he says, Ratna, even you should stop your evil deeds. He says, how can I stop? I have a family to take care all that I take from people, all that I rob the people from, I take it home and I feed my old parents and my family, my wife and my children. So Narad said, okay, if you are doing a bad deed, well, you will be, you will have to repay for this, you know. You will have to suffer the consequences. So Ratna said, why should I uh, suffer the consequences? My family will also uh, suffer the consequences. I'm doing it for them. I'm not doing it for myself. I'm doing it for them. So there is like, why should I only face, you know? 
So now it's a no. Mm. You are doing the wrong thing. So you will have to face. Go find out from your family. That if you if you are doing something wrong, so who is going to suffer? Will you suffer or they will suffer? So Ratna started thinking. He went back home and he asked his parents. You know, I am robbing people. I am hurting people. And uh, if you know, I am being you know charged with all this. So will you suffer the uh, consequences with me if I am made to put to trial, or you know even uh, if I go if I die, you know, will you be uh, you know uh, you know taking the brunt of all these, you know? So the parents said, well, we took care of you when you were small. Okay, so now it is your duty to take care of us because we are old and we cannot take care of ourselves. Well, that was the norm. So, and how you are going to do it? You have to take care of it. So, but we are not going to be responsible or we are going to suffer the same consequences. We have done our duty. Now it is your job. Now it is your duty. So, whatever good or bad you do, you have to uh, take the responsibility. If you are doing good, well, the good things will come to you. If you are going to be doing bad, the bad things are going to come to you. So, Ratna was thinking. He said, oh, is that it? Then again, you know, he said, okay, he went to his wife. She says, he he, he uh, told his wife, okay, look, I take care of you. I make sure that you have good clothes to wear, good food to eat. You are taken care of. And, uh, you know, whatever bad I'm doing now, you know, I'm robbing people. So if, you know, I, you know, if I have to face the consequences, if I have to, you know, face the, uh, the consequences of all the bad deeds, will you suffer with me? Will you take a part of that from me? We'll suffer together. She says, why should I suffer with you? You have done bad. So you will face the brunt of it. I will not. It is your duty to take care of me. I am your wife. I take care of your house. I do it nicely. I take care of everything. I take care of all my duties. So, it's my duty and I'm doing it well. And it's your duty to take care of me. Now, if you are doing bad things, well, bad things you are doing, so you have to face the consequences. Hmm. Now, Ratna was really, you know, worried. He says, okay, maybe the children will help me. So he went, you know, plom, plom, plom to the children. And he called his children. He says, Papa takes care of you, isn't it? They said, yes, you get good foods to eat. He said, yes. So if something bad I do, will you take, will you also suffer the consequences with me? The children looked at him. Well, we are not doing anything bad. It's you who is doing. So you have to face. You tell us the same. That if we do something bad, we have to suffer the consequences. Now, if you are going to be doing something bad, well, you have to face it. Why should we? We are young children. We are your children. And you know, why should we uh, face the brunt of it? You have to face it. You know, good deeds or bad deeds. Whatever you are going to do, well, you have to pay for them. So now Ratna was really worried. He was very worried. He says, my God, I take care of my family and nobody is ready to, you know, take, uh, you know, share this, uh, the bad deeds from me. What am I going to do? He was quite worked up. Well, you know, Narad Muni, he was there in the forest. Ratna had tied him to the tree. So Ratna went to him and Narad asked him, Narayan, Narayan, what happened? Will your family also pay for your bad deeds? Whatever bad you do, will they share it with you? Will you, you know, have somebody to suffer with you? Ratna was very upset. He says, nobody is going to suffer. All this I am doing for them and they are not going to share, you know, um, share my burden. 
Well, Narad said, ke, look, this is your mistake. Each one of us is responsible for our actions. Whatever good we do and whatever bad we do, we have to face the consequences. If you do good, good is going to happen. But if you're going to do bad, well, bad will happen. So if you've not been doing good deeds, you've been robbing people and you have been stealing, you've been hurting people, well, you are in store for a, a long, you could say, stay in the jail. You will have to suffer. And now Ratan was totally, you know, crestfallen. He was so sad. He says, no, I have to follow my dharam. I must be a good man. I must make sure that I do good deeds because these good deeds are going to help me. So from that day onwards, he left robbing the people. He left hurting the people. He stopped being a bad man. And with his good deeds, he took care of his family and he read all the scriptures and he became a great saint, a great muni. And you know what he did later? He wrote the Ramayan, the longest and the oldest story. So he was the author of Ramayan and his name became Valmiki. What did his name become? Valmiki. So children, you can see from this story, and I'm sure, you know, you must have related to certain things, you know. If we do something good, everybody does. Very good. And if you've done something bad, what happens? Mm, I'm out. No, that's not good. Well, you will have to uh, pay for this. By paying means not with money. It means to that something will have to be taken away from you. You will have to face the consequence of your bad deeds. Isn't it? So intentionally you must always do good things. You must help people. You should try not to hurt anybody. See, if you can't do good for anybody, at least don't do bad for anyone. Be a good human being. Take care of the nature, take care of the environment, take care of yourself, take care of your friends, your family, your school and be a good human being. Okay, so that is the story that I wanted to share with you today. So this whole month we are going to be sharing with you small stories from Ramayan. Okay, and I will see you soon. Bye.